The music we know today is the result of the development of notes and instruments that take centuries to complete. Particularly when it comes to Italian music, in order to fully understand the music that circulates today, especially among young people, we need to go back in time. After the various changes the music had undergone since prehistoric times, where it was used to reproduce everyday sound passing through ancient civilization, where it mainly had religion function related to human life, and finally through classical music, we come to the recreational and entertaining function of music in 1900s, which still has not changed today. In 1900s, in fact, popular music acquired new importance all over the world, as well as in Italy. Italian popular songs were sung in dialect, and the most common and well-known, even outside the country, were Neapolitan, Florentine and Venetian songs which, as they became more popular, led to the dissemination of certain images linked to Italy, which then became the stereotypes according to which Italians are recognized today throughout the world. The Gulf of Naples and food are the perfect example. With the spread of the new standard Italian language, the songs changed. They now have a more precise and poetic language, so that they can be understood by all Italians while the music that follows the word is usually a melody, or in some cases it takes inspiration from those of other countries, particularly American country music or swing music. Italian music becomes a way of making, and so the Italian people feel united. This function was particularly taken up during fascism. The fascists used the radio, the most popular means of communication in the country at that time, to broadcast songs with themes related to Italian unity. Fascist thinking was based on autarky, and as a result there was a particular aversion to foreign music, particularly Anglo-Saxon music, which was banned altogether by a listening commission in charge of the radio, because at the time the United States had entered the war. In spite of the resentment toward foreign music, Fascists understood the importance of varying the music played on the radio. For this reason, many foreign songs with more lively rhythm were translated and adapted to Italian, in order to meet the needs of the population as a whole. After the end of the war, there was a return to the classical melodic song that characterized Italian music, and the Festival della Musica Italiana, or Italian Music Festival, which is still broadcast on television today, was created to promote it. This festival aims to make people aware that music is an art. The songs broadcast usually reflected the feelings of post-war Italians. People felt lost and needed to heal their wounds and to find a new national unity. It was also thanks to the festival that the Italian song developed and changed moving towards more lively rhythm based on South American music, such as the tango, the habanera, and the begin. During the 1950s, there was the need for new music, and therefore more youthful musical movements began to develop. One of the first was the urlatori, the screamers. These very young singers were named so in order to distinguish them from the classic Italian pop music, since they broke with the convention of musical vocalists and moved away from the sentimental themes typical of the Italian songs. After this movement, many artists moved to other movements, one of which was the cantautori, who were both singers and songwriters. Cantautori are innovators. With their songs, they break all the patterns, from vocality to music. Their lyrics are different. The tone used is more similar to the spoken one, without poetics, and is very explicit. Moreover, their voices after God of Tune, and this could not happen in songs before. And since they were musicians, they were usually accompanied by the classical guitar only. The themes they sang about were different from the Italian songs that had existed up to that time. They were more committed, since they talk about issues that interest young people, such as female emancipation, war, and the political and social discourses they were developing in these years. These new artists were very successful because young people were finally able to be represented by singers, who were also their contemporaries. The records of the cantautori are highly sophisticated. In fact, we can find stories that are completed through the various songs, and you have to listen carefully to the lyrics to understand them, because they hear their music, 
as a means of speaking to the masses and conveying their thoughts and feelings to anyone who will listen. Today, the youngest singers take up the cantatory ways of singing, using a common language and taking their ideas from youth movements, representing modern young people who are unable to express what they feel.